welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever ASOS haul. Now this is the first time I've bought anything from ASOS and I must admit I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it gives you different brands and I love New Look and I love Boohoo. They're like the two kind of places that I'm obsessed with so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna have to go there again because I absolutely love it and because I'm getting a lot of like jumpers and things like that I thought I got rid of a lot of them I want a lot of dresses and things like that but also suitable for the winter so mainly this haul includes dresses <laughs> but let's get to it the first dress I actually got uh, was not for winter I basically saw this dress and I thought that would be perfect for summer and I have to have it. Um, I got it in a size smaller than what I am, kind of. I can get away with a size 10. I did get a size 10 just because it's slightly oversized but I thought kind of give me a little bit of push. Well, there's a tiny little bit of weight. I'm in the between at the minute where I'm like a 10 and a 12. Trousers and things, I prefer a 12 because I don't like trousers to be too tight. But dresses, I can get away with a size 10, especially when they're oversized. Um, but this is absolutely stunning. I have been at, like obsessed with smock dresses because I think if I can get them where they come in at the right stage, so underneath my boots, it means that the kind of pleated bit goes over my mum tom and I just feel those more comfortable with it. Um, most of these I probably will pair with a belt, so please let me know which one you prefer. Um, this one, because it is for summer, I think I'm just going to leave it without a belt um, because when it is got a belt on and it's hot and sweaty, it's just going to be uncomfortable. So I'll probably wear this quite baggy anyway, but I'll show you both. Um, if you could let me know in the comments as well which ones you prefer on each dress, that would be really helpful. But I just thought this pink was stunning. It is quite creased, so I do need to give it a bit of an iron. But the, the colour, it seemed a lot more pink on the website. But I'm actually glad it's like this. It's kind of like a, a musky dark pink. And I just think that's absolutely stunning. So this is the pink dress. And I think it is like stunning. It is like a bit baggy, like I said, because it, it is a bit loose. But I think when it's really, really, really hot, like it was this summer, well, technically last summer, <laughs> like it was last year then uh, then I'd probably just wear it without a belt because at the front it doesn't look that big for me does it slightly at the side I'll show you what it looks like with a belt as well so this is what the dress is like with a belt um, it looks quite alright really I think I need a different colour than black it's okay it looks better from the side it slims me down a bit more <laughs> like I said for summer I'd probably wear it without a belt um, just because yeah it still looks pretty with or without a belt but it kind of dresses it up I think kind of makes it look a bit more like you know a bit more formal well, not formal but yeah it dresses it up a little bit and I like it with both but if you could put down in the comments if you prefer this one with or without a belt the next one I got I was like freaking out over because it is the most stunning dress ever and as you know i've been obsessed with jumpers through the winter and autumn because um, it's been really really freezing at the minute so yeah i've just got loads so because like i said i wanted to go to the dress side i'm trying to get more of like longer sleeve dresses this one i was like oh it's a smock and a jumper dress jumper dress so it's all three that i wanted so again it is another smock dress but it is like a sweater smock dress it is fleece inside so it's nice and warm um it is stunning and i love the detail on the sleeves i like cuffed and go in again i will show you what it's like on with and without a belt because material is quite thick i don't know what it's going to like be like with a belt on you know if it's going to just gather too much and look that strange but we'll have to see anyway i got this in a small because this was very oversized and i was like i don't want it that oversized so i meant to really be a medium but i got it in small but it's quite big so it should fit me i absolutely love this dress <laughs> it is stunning i'm glad i sized down it does feel a little bit it's not like the awkward part of the neck but i'm sure i can like deal with that um but it is stunning i love the sleeves everything again though nice from the front but then 
and basically bigger at the side. <laughs> so I will put a belt on with it and show you guys how it looks. Like with a belt, but I've paired it with some black tights. And it comes up just above the knees, it's a perfect length. I really, really like this one, it's so pretty. But yes, let's try it with a belt. I am unsure with this one for a belt. I kind of like it, same time. But like I said, because it's a jumper, it's a bit bigger. This is what it's like with a belt. Actually, I do quite like it. And it kind of cinches in a better place. So <laughs> it shows a bit more of my bigger. Um, I really do like this one, it's so pretty. Again, if you could leave in the comments which one you prefer, it belted or not belted, please let me know, that'd be great. The next one I got was just a basic black smock dress. I more than likely will pair this one with a belt, um, just because it is quite big. Um, I should have probably sized down on this one as well. I got this one in a size 12, which is obviously what I am normally, but for an oversized smock dress. It's one of those things, it's kind of like, I want it to hide my mom tom, but I don't want it to make me bigger than what I actually am. And because I'm actually, the, th like the thinnest part of me is below my boobs right here, and I made sure that these smock dresses came to about that, um, so they could show off my skinnier part, but then hide my bigger part. Um, but this one is really, really big. Um, so yeah, it's quite huge. So I more than likely will wear a belt with this one, but like again, on all three of the dresses, I'll show you with a belt and without the belt, and if you comment down below which one you prefer, belted, non-belted, and so forth. But yeah, this is just a basic black one. Again, it's got a very similar sleeve to the grey one, where they kind of like come out and then cuff here, which I think that's really it's like stunning. So this is the black one. I've not got any tights on or anything, but it's a perfect length. It comes just above the knees, which just kind of fits them. Um, it's pretty basic. It doesn't go just into my boobs, but it goes, still goes where I'm, yeah, because this is more where I'm bigger. Um, it is very big. Like I said, I probably should size down for size 10. Um, from the side, it's quite... <laughs> But I think I'd prefer this one with a belt, so let's try that. So this is it with a belt. Like I said, it just kind of show off my figure a bit. I actually prefer this one with a belt, I think, um, and probably pair it because I'm wearing black. Probably if I wear black tights, I'd probably just pair it with like some dark grey ones. Um, but yeah, I think this is really nice. Probably the opposite of where I was going to before. I started wearing lots of colour, now I'm going down to all black. But I think it's just one of those, isn't it? Everybody needs like a really nice black dress. And like this is one of them but it's also i have got a nice black dress but it's more for summer this one is a perfect one through winter um just to throw on and yeah i think i prefer this one with the belt but like i said if you could comment down below tell me which one you prefer uh, with or without the belt that'd be good the next one i am unsure about and i have got it <laughs> it is a pair of jeans I looked and went through the sizing and because I'm a size 10 to 12, but I thought I'd rather get 12 in bottoms like normal, I got a medium. Yeah. These are very high waisted. They describe them as, if I can read what it says on there, sky high, skin tight and second skin. So they're very like a tighter on your legs, which I love because my legs are quite skinny. Um, and the high, uh, but, I then got them out of the bag and I was like, <laughs> I mean, being high waisted, it is okay because my waist is a lot slimmer, but how are these meant to be a medium? These would probably fit my son and he's six. Obviously not for length, but this, this no. Whoa! I want some black skinny jeans, basically, because most of the skinny jeans that I get that I see in black, they kind of like that grey black, where they're not black black, and I want more of like legging black, because when you kind of get those tops that you kind of want to kind of wear leggings with, but for me, leggings don't cinch my stomach in like I like, and jeans do, so I thought I'd get black skinny jeans just so they slim me down, but also I can wear, you know, what I usually wear with leggings with if I fancy it, but these, we're gonna have to see. And more than likely they won't fit because they are tiny. Tiny! So yeah, we're gonna have to see. <sighs> oh, I really don't know about these jeans. 
they are breeding and barely and I kind of just got them up and they are high waisted but at the minute I'm wearing kind of like a slight cropped jumper and they look okay but I can't wear anything skin tight with them because they are extremely tight. If there was literally like an inch bigger, then they would have been fine. But look, like, I mean, they don't want that bad at the front, but uh, I don't know. Please tell me what you think of these because these are absolutely titchy. And it's one of those where it feels like I'm wearing a bodysuit, you know, well, one of those kind of like suction in bodysuit things like i've got loads of them you know like kind of like suck your stomach in it just feels like i'm wearing one of those so i can walk around with it comfortable probably won't sit down that comfortable but it doesn't really give the best here so like yeah this completely fine but wear something skin tight and look at that just no yeah. so i don't know I don't know if I just keep them on wear baggy jumpers and stuff with them because I do really like them. I know the length of them is really good as well. I don't know. So that is the end of my ASOS haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and don't forget to press that bell. I am a mum of two and I do videos, videos on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, motherhood. So if it's something you're interested in watching, please don't forget to subscribe. But I hope you all have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye.